Okay, welcome back. My name is Upgood, aka Keith, or Keith, aka Upgood, however you want to say it. Um, today I am doing something a little different. I mounted my camera on my other monitor, and it was a little bit of a stretch, so I had to be on the corner. But um, I kind of did this because half the time I'm looking over at my second monitor uh, to make sure everything is going fine with the um, recording. And um, so I just thought what, it, if I could set it up, it'd be cool if, uh, if I put my camera over here. And so when I'm working, I'll be looking at the side like this. I'm, right now I'm looking at my primary monitor where you're seeing my mouse move here. And um, I figured I'd just do this just a little bit differently um, because uh, today I'm going to work on something a little different. Not a lot different though. So, so basically what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to attempt to um, make a sample like um, basically like you could say a map it's not really a map but um, basically what I did in the in the game test and um, I'm gonna uh, make a, a 3d model and then um, I am going to uh, see if I can import it into Godot. Oh, and I have something to say about Godot, or the pronunciation. Um, I've been looking into the thing about whether you pronounce it Godot or Godot. At, at first I he thought I heard somebody say that uh, that it's pronounced Godot because that's the way the, the creators pronounce it. But actually the original um, one of the original creators said he named it after the play Waiting for Godot, Samuel Beckett's play or whatever, and uh, something to do with it being similar or something. I, I don't I don't know. I don't remember the philosophy behind it. But um, considering that they pronounce it Godot there, and considering Gal Godot's name, Godot is probably a proper pronunciation. But... Uh, I started looking at some of these comments and, and things where um, people were saying it just really irked them that uh, somebody was pronouncing it incorrectly and it's like, you know, it's like this big, big no-no, right? Um, so I, I just thought of something that was kind of funny. Um, I kind of think that the same way about the letters GIF, Graphic Interchange Format, which was a predominant... Um, graphic image format um, of the 80s and the 90s because of its compression and all that stuff um, and uh, it was a big deal um, back in the day and uh, now we've gone on to things like PNG and you know we still use JPEG to an extent and, and all that but the thing that always really irked me about the way people pronounce GIF is half the people pronounce it GIF, and I pronounce it GIF. And that's because GIF, hard G, because, uh, um, let me see what we're doing on time. Okay, so the the, uh, the hard G uh, in graphic, graphic interchange format, GIF as in gift, but without the T, the T sound at the end, or GIF as in give, not GIF, um, because I don't, think it um since it's not a word it doesn't have a an official pronunciation right but uh we don't normally pronounce any words with g in it with a soft g or a j sound we don't pronounce good jud we don't pronounce give jiv you know we don't do that so so it always really drove me nuts when somebody pronounced it jif because it's not jif it's a gif Anyways, so I'm thinking, um, you know what, I'll say this, if, uh, uh, 
maybe I should spell it out, G O D O T, um, whenever I say it. Um, and and what I'll say is I'll ask you, uh, how do you pronounce G I F? Do you pronounce it GIF, or do you pronounce it GIF? And if a majority of you say it's pronounced Jeff, then I'm going to pronounce it Godot instead of Godot. And that's just just me being a little ornery and just I just thought it was funny. And I was going, yeah, it's like um, it drove me nuts when people pronounced uh, when my friends would pronounce the GIF Jeff. I'm like Jeff, you know. It's kind of like the thing between um, what gigawatts and gigawatts, right? Uh, you can kind of, uh, um, I don't know if you give it a pass because it's a, you know, it's a specifically a word because GIF is not an actual word. It's just a, an acronym. Um, but uh, we hear 1.21 gigawatts. What, what do you think of, right? You think of Back to the Future. Um, later did I realize that it was spelled with a, G, not a J. I thought it was gigawatts, J I G. It's actually gigawatts, you know, like gigabytes. You, you don't say gigabytes, you say gigabytes usually. At least anybody that I've ever heard say, says a gigabytes, they don't say gigabytes, okay? So you don't say gigawatts, gigawatts. Although I gave it a pass because back to the future, Doc Brown says gigawatts, so I'm gonna say it because it's the line, you know, 1.21 gigawatts of electricity, right? Anyways. So it's just one little thing I had to say. So um, I'll spell, I'll pronounce G O D O T Godot if the majority of you say no, it's pronounced GIF is the proper pronunciation. But if you say Jeff and you've always said it Jeff, then I'm going to say Godot because that's how I prefer to pronounce it. Because really, then it's just about who, what you prefer to pronounce. Um, See when I when I was first looking at it, I was thinking Godot, right? You know the the little icon, the mascot of of G O D O T is a little robot. So you know Godot robot. You can kind of you can kind of see it like that. Um, in fact, uh, the um, when I was watching a video, um, one of the guys I'm not sure which guy it was. He's French, I believe. Uh, one of the you know founders or one of the head guys or whatever you want to say that. It sounds more like Godot, or you know, it's it's like a French pronunciation, and um, it almost sounded like he had a T in there, even though he pronounced it the way he pronounces it. So I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just going okay. So if you uh, <laughs> if you uh, if you pronounce GAF GIF, then I will pronounce Godot because it really just means that's what your preference is. But if you say it's GIF, which is I believe is the proper way to say GIF, because uh, yeah, and I know G is 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 pronounced the G letter is pronounced G as in like J, right? Like a like a different kind of J, you know, it's J, but uh, most of our G words in English, you know, it's graphic and, you know, give and gave and gift and good and golly and, you know, stuff like that. So, let me know. Anyways, so, um, I didn't, I was intending <laughs> to waste that time, but, you know, that's just what happens. Um... So, uh, I decided that I was going to, um, here, let's do a general. I decided that I was going to go ahead and, uh, make a little, like, a little test mesh. And then I was going to see if I could, uh, I could, uh, import, uh, I go through a little tutorial that imports a mesh into G-O-D-O-T, Godot, or Godot. And, um, in fact, maybe I'll just pronounce it both ways. Godot, 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 whatever. Anyways. Um, and then I would see if I could take it from there. Because, um, after doing that little 2D thing and after watching some tutorials and stuff, um, I have kind of, sort of learned 
how to use Godot, or at least I'm kind of comfortable in a little bit in how to use it just a little bit. So um, really, my first big uh, demo needs to be um, needs to be this this first thing, which is the walking part of it. So what I have to have is I have to have a mesh. I have to be able to do the nav, the, you know, create the nav mesh. I, I have to have be able to click anywhere in the scene and have an object, a 3D object, move there. And so that's what I'm going to try to do. At least in this opening part, I'm gonna I'm going to create a a mesh here, and, um, and then I'm going to follow a little uh, tutorial in Godot to. Um, actually import that mesh and we'll see if how that works okay so what I'm going to start with here is I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm going to add a plane uh, right there and whoa, what did I do control oh. let's see let's see let's try this again See, I still haven't got the hang of it because when whenever somebody does this, um, they're instantly able to resize it, and I don't know why it doesn't work for me like that. But we'll try this again. No, speak. I guess it's because it's a selection box. Okay. Well then, if that's the way, here let's do it. Let's put scale here, and then let's uh, shift A. And let's create a plane again. And here, I guess. Oops. I guess let's just do this. Um, well, that, that's good enough, I guess. Um, okay, so let's uh, go into edit mode, I believe. And I'm going to subdivide this if I can figure out. I can't remember exactly what what to use to do that so bear with me set faces loop cut knife poly build spin smooth edge side hmm. that's not in here so what do I do right click and forget how to subdivide uh, oh right here subdivide Let's see if I can do this again. Okay, yeah. Let's do this several times. Okay, that'll that'll work. And then we're gonna do a select mesh. Uh, we're gonna do a face selection. So we are going to do something like. Wait a second. Shift. Interesting. Okay. Um. Control seems to actually see. So how come? Okay, shift. Ah, see. Um, okay, so we're actually we're we're out of time, and that's my fault. So forgive me for that. Um, so uh, I'll see you in the next video.